Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Studio 44. Phil Sherman here with another stadium extravaganza video for you. I have 30 new stadiums that have been requested to be seen right here on Studio 44 since my last video premiered. So I'm going to get to those 30 plus a handful of others in the next three videos that I'm going to record right now. Hopefully I can get them edited soon and up before the end of the week. All three of them before the end of the week. I hope to get the first one up before Sunday, Monday. But it's the Memorial Day weekend, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are out camping or hosting barbecues or whatever. But uh, I'm sure you guys will have times to find your phone and YouTube and take a look at these stadiums. So let's get right into it. An advantage everyone has when it comes to Tampa Bay is... How can you create a park worse than the piece of shit that they already have? <laughs> but you know Bo Tiger's going to put up something fantastic, and already I like it. Oh, look at this out here in right center field. Right over the fence, there's this little pool. Are there uh, rays in there? Rays in there, not raisins. <laughs> yeah, yep, it's the ray. Yep, the ray tank. Okay, I see it now. This is gorgeous. I like this little corner pocket here where you can look over and then you got a camera well down here this is gorgeous Bo tiger then he's got this fantastic bleacher section over the race tank and then a beautiful concourse over this big wall out and right where people are hanging out watching the game over the home run fence got a wiffle ball field over here in the corner looks like uh, a couple dudes are going to pitch to these guys back here these guys are going to rob some home runs I love playing wiffle ball, but it's not nearly as fun as far as fielding. Pitching and, and, and hitting are the only fun part in wiffle ball. Fielding can suck because the ball's curved so much. You can't make these great plays and throw guys out at first. The way we play, we never really do throwing to first. I've seen plenty of TikTok and you know YouTube videos wherever where they definitely throw and whether it's hitting the target or throwing the first, like the tradition, traditional way, I just, it's hard because they're they're so hard to control. Like every every time I throw the first, I'd have to throw like a slider or something. Man, right field is absolutely fantastic out here, Bow Tiger. These three three level concourses out here with big baby cigars. And then another concourse out here with all these concessions and. A lot of stuff going on behind the anomalies. Now, <laughs> I realized this in the last video I recorded. At the time of recording my last videos, between recording them and releasing them, it came out that anomalies were working again, just not online. And if that's the case, and if it stays that way, I'll keep making anomalies. I have a futuristic version of the Ballpark of the Moon Jack Casino where I am going to add anomalies, and I'll... I'll correct it in this copied version without anomalies. That's that's my plan going further. But, yeah, left field, plaza-level seating with the building in the back. And I like this row of luxury seats up here. Fantastic. Giant scoreboard above everything. Then, of course, you got this big bay out behind the stadium. Absolutely beautiful, Bow Tiger. This might be my favorite of yours so far. I feel like I say that every time <laughs> you come out with a new stadium, but it's true. Your stadiums are just getting better and better and better every time I freaking go to your vault. Excellent. And then is this supposed to be like a Windows look for maybe an retractable roof? What's the top part? Is that laser ribbon maybe? Yep. Beautiful. Fantastic. I always like this building because it's weird, it's quirky, it's got that top deck on the lower portion of it where you know people you can have people hanging out and you took full advantage of that. And I like this weird rectangle that has a little portion of windows and you put the sign on top. You got sailboats out here and the harbor and the docks and all kinds of fun stuff. The T B over here in left center field, another fun little deck. This is fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful way to start out the stadium. Extravaganza video, Bow Tiger. I didn't really look in here yet either. There's a bunch of concessions in here. I think we've been through every concession, right? We don't need to go over these. 
dipping sauces. 75 cents for dipping. Come on, you cheaps. Just give them to us for free. For crying out loud. Oh, this is pretzels. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I've become obsessed with each concession stand's uh, items for sale. I like the rays built right into the wall. That looks really nice. What is this on the right? Why is that white like that on the right? Is that like, that's not part of the foul pole, is it? Do you have another letter in there? Is it an anomaly of some kind? Oh, okay, it's a sign turned around. All right, okay, I see. Yeah, I always thought it was weird how they would never put, you know, close off one side. So if you have one window, it's just there. And there's just nothing on the right side. That's terrible. So he added the white to close it off. All right. Throwing the lights on. And it looks fabulous. I have Riverside uh, Riverside Stadium vibes from Sam and Dan on this stadium. Again, I'm going to call early Stadium of the Year candidate right here. Fantastic work, Bow Tiger. It's so clean. It's so creative. Fun little decks everywhere, nooks and crannies. And Oh, I didn't even see this over here, the stadium walk or the deck walk, whatever you call these things. What do you call this thing? Ramp around. It's from Pittsburgh. That's all I know. Got some pine trees chilling out back in here. Little MLB sign. Fantastic. Oh, did you have it for the foul pole? Bow Tiger. Freaking great idea. That's what you have it for. You're using it for the thing. Okay. All right. What I've been tending to do for those... If if you still use anomalies, this is what I do. I've been putting the uh, some kind of batter's eye there, but that's a great idea. That's a that's a way to pull it off without using an anomaly. So, great work, Bow Tiger. You're an all star, that's for sure. You're a legend. Love it. Can't wait to see more from you. We're gonna head up north, up the eastern coast, and find Atlantic City Park. It's in Atlantic City, New Jersey. has an altitude of 1,000 feet, and it was built in the year 2024, and it was built by our good buddy Stephen K. 3001. And right off the bat, I can see this fun little section out here in left field where he's got this restaurant and some picnic tables out here and with the bleachers in front of some field-level seating. Creole dugouts hanging back here with some more concessions and a roller coaster, the dino coaster which is probably making noise that I don't hear right now. Got the amusement park, Carnival cruise ship, or a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. A yacht. That's a yacht, right? Fleet ship, I'm sorry. And you got the cargo ship out here, the docks, the air, uh, aircraft carrier. There is the aquarium, or the aquarium stage, aquatic stage. Got the waterfall out in right center field for your target with a glove right in the middle of it. Definitely want DJ Jackson to poke some in there. We have a couple of concessions out here hugging the field level seating in right field. And it looks pretty good. Stephen K. 3000 has the convention center type gaming building back here. And a racetrack over here. Windmills. The dyno merry-go-round thing man look how fast that thing goes the roller coaster that thing's hauling ass through the tunnel i never liked the tunnel we have a tiny little amusement park here in rochester it's called sea breeze and they have the jackrabbit it's an old wooden roller coaster and you get in that tunnel and kids and everybody scream and it's just so loud didn't notice the hall of fame circle out in center field very nice, Stephen K. 
Oh, he's got the fan walk all the way around. We just, I just, <laughs> I just clicked on this thing. Ramp around. <laughs> I'll never remember that. Very well lit. Stuff's in the background is lit up on their own. And it looks good. This is a stadium that kind of slipped through the cracks, so I apologize, Stephen K. Uh, just remember, if it if it did slip through the cracks, if you submitted a stadium and it's been a while since you've seen it, there's a good chance you submitted it in the comments. Google Forms is so much easier for me to stay organized. So uh, there's a link in the description of this video. There's a link right on my YouTube channel, and there's a link right in my Facebook page. So follow that link, fill out the form, so thank you for now, Stephen K. Next up, we have a stadium from Chase Halliday, Danza Caduro in Vice City, Florida, altitude of 33 feet, built in 1988. Vice City, is that uh, GTA 5? Relate? I like left field. Left field's got all these bleachers out here. Some of them bricked off. And you got the brew hoo hoo back here with the paradise dining, people hanging out in the deck, roller coasters over the sand dunes. This, yeah, this roller coaster isn't active like the other one is. This one has a tunnel too. Oh no, there it is. There it's going. Or did he put two roller coasters together? I don't know. He got some condos along the lake. A little complex back here in right center field. And then you got luxury seating right along the home run fence. I like it. Ooh, I like this taller wall right along the foul pole. And you got this whole little village up here with people watching from the fence. Fun. Very fun. A little scoreboard right here. Seating's broken up with some palm trees. Palm, palm. Palm, palm. What do you say? Probably should be palm trees, huh? Luxury seating, pretty standard around and behind using minor league. Dig it. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could have the minor league seating without the stupid base or whatever you call that around. Let's zoom her back. Quirky dimensions. I don't I don't think that's a template, right? So he did some tinkering with the dimensions. I like it. Everything is well lit at night. Ferris wheel's going right by the water. Got a beautiful view of what would be the ocean back there, maybe. The bay. The Gulf of Mexico, depending on where you are in Florida, wherever Vice City might be. Well, it's supposed to be Miami, right? So I guess it would be the ocean right along the east coast of Florida. I like this little deck. With the hotel or whatever. People hanging out on that, too. And the clock. Very nice. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Very nice. A lot going on in here. Very fun. We have another stadium from Angry Beer. He had to throw the three in the middle, I guess, because they wouldn't... I think it was Xbox, he said. Wouldn't let him use the name Angry Beer. The stadium is in Arlington, Texas, has an altitude of 5,100 feet, and it was built in the year 2024. And, wow, look at all the waterfall action going on out here in right field. Using the sand or dirt concourse to face it off. Looks good. Bunch of layers out here in right center with the brew hoo hoo again. Very nice. This is that plaza building, right? What's going on in here? These guys are waiting in line. Oh, they're watching the game at the grill. Okay. Fancy fencing. These guys are getting concessions over here. Smoothie bar. My wife likes smoothies. She goes to freaking Cold Stone Creamery and gets smoothies. What the, hell's, what the hell's the matter with this woman? Chocolate daydream. Pink flower and the orange soda. Fresh feel, beef, broccoli, veal, parsley, celery, grapes. What? That's in a smoothie? No thanks. Oh, look at this building with all the people hanging out. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before with this building. That looks really cool. 
with the laser ribbon in front. Fantastic. Then there's this park over here in right. Excellent. You got this wagon man section back here, two different levels. Blending a couple of concession stands together. Very, very creative. Are we looking around and behind? Whoa, not standard at all. Look at this. There's the pyramid aspect of it, right? That's a casino, if I'm not mistaken. That's part of it, right? It's not buildings blend together. Then you got the bowl uh, style seating where the decks aren't really separated. Another fun little park area in front of the steakhouse. Very fun. Then you got a ramp going up to this area of seating. A lot going on in the stadium. I dig it. And there's there's a Jeep on display behind the MLB sign. You see that in a lot of stadiums. I remember on my honeymoon, we were pretty close to cars on display behind the home run fence in Toronto. Very, very nice. Angry beer. He gave us that aquarium stadium, right? We'll turn them lights on. Yeah, very funky. All right, excellent. Now, this is quirky dimensions, but I think this is a template, right? I always tell myself I'm going to make a stadium with these dimensions, but I always end up changing them. I think I've said that before. Looks really cool at night. Big scoreboards behind home plate. Awesome. That way the people in the outfield get to see a nice big scoreboard. Perfect scoreboard in center field, too. With the flags on top. Excellent angry beer. I like it. Pyramid Games. I guess it's not a casino. Okay. Very nicely done. Very original. Very unique. I dig it. Okay, this is a stadium you've probably seen in the vault if you're just cruising from time to time. It's Estadio Jose Aguilari Maya. Am I saying that right? Guanajuto, Mexico. Altitude of 2,025 feet. Built in 1954. It's based on a real stadium in Mexico, and it was given to us by our good friend Huggy Bear, who gave us a couple stadiums to look at in the last uh, portion of videos. And, yeah, I remember cruising through a vault and seeing all these, you know, towns on the hill or these buildings on the hill. Very fun. Is that? Oh, okay, that's part of that building. All right. People are watching on the stadium or on, this, on the balcony of this or the roof of this blue building. Man, I'm losing it today. Got more people hanging out here. Very fun. Man, how many how, how many of these houses have been pelted with home run balls? How deep is this? 356. Okay, so maybe not too many. 365 down the line. About 400 in center field. So, yeah, I guess not too many people are getting... Unless you get, you know, Aaron Judge, Mike Stanton, and Juan Soto in here. Man, Yankees... Padres last night, opening game of that series, all three of them bombed in one inning. Crazy. Let's see what it looks like behind. Minimal seating. Wouldn't expect anything different from a small stadium in Mexico. Very nice. A lot of detail. Man, it must have took forever to go through and get all these buildings the right way. I might have to try to look up the real stadium and put it up in post, put a picture up in post. I kind of stopped doing that kind of thing because it, <laughs> I look at my videos that are an hour and a half long sometimes, and then my average watch rate is like 11, <laughs> 11 minutes of all my videos. So it's like, I mean, do I really want to put all that work into it just for everybody to just fast forward? So I get it. Everybody's busy. I do the same thing when I'm watching other people's videos. I tend to fast forward. Very creative using this as a wall to kind of keep the balls in the stadium. Very nice. We'll turn the lights on, of course. Huggy Bear, 001. He's got some good stuff, as we saw in his last video, too. 
And he also created that Mario level that I showed you guys a couple months ago. That stadium was so fun. Such a good idea. He bricked off the inside in here. Very nice. Very nice indeed, Huggy Bear. And he does have a YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if he still posts, but I, I, I think I remember back in the day, you know, when I first found stadiums online that he was um, showcasing some of his stadiums. So check him out. I mean, he says follow Huggy Bear 001 right there. That could be on Twitch, though, right? So let me know, Huggy Bear. I'll send people your way. Thanks again for the stadium. I love it. We're heading up north of the border again, Dad Bod Park from Dad Bod OG. We're in Calgary again, altitude of 2,764 feet. And this was built in the year 2014. Now, Dad Bod did give me an explanation to why you search Dad Bod and Spanky McSlappy comes up. It turns out he had a PlayStation 4 back in the day. And then when he found out that the next gen consoles were going to be able to build your own stadiums, he wanted to get the next gen, but apparently. He couldn't get a PS5, so he got the new Xbox One, and the emails were linked together, and so um, he had a show account linked to his other thing, and uh, apparently they're just kind of connected through the show. So when you search Dad Bod, Spanky McSlappy shows up. So thanks a lot, Dad Bod. I appreciate, I appreciate that. I was just so curious as to how you can type in one completely different name and Spanky McSlappy would show up. So, yeah, thanks for the thanks for the email about that. I appreciate it. You can email me too, studio44ps at gmail.com if you um, have anything that you want to ask or let me know about your stadiums or you just want to talk baseball or point something out to me, whatever. You can also reach me on Facebook. I have my own Facebook page now and, of course, the YouTube channel. Very, very clean looking stadium from Dad Bod as always. I love this concourse that surrounds the batter's eye and curls around to either side where there's a concourse and people are hanging out up here and on this side. Got some bushes out here in the dead space and right and left center field. Great idea. It's fun watching the balls disappear in the bush too. It's 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 a good target. Great scoreboard in right with a line of concession stands. Great corner. Yeah, see, it's tough work getting these to curl around the corner like this. Nice work. Dad Bod Park from Dad Bod OG. Now, I have to bring something up to you guys. Is this new... Or am I this clueless when it comes to Stadium Creator? So I was working on that newer version of the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino. And I noticed the triangle on the concourse. And I hit triangle and it separates everything. Is that new? Or am I just completely <laughs> non-observant and... It has it on a bunch of different categories. I like it. You know, it kind of separates things. It makes it easier. You click on it, and then it gives you all those options within that little subcategory. Is that new, or am I crazy? I wish I knew about it sooner if it wasn't new because it's very handy. So you'll have to let me know about that. I don't know what made me think about that now, but... Ooh, I like all the signs on the roof. That's fun. Dad Bod Park is labeled out here in center. Very nice indeed. Beautiful work on the building surrounding the stadium, too. Excellent. Looks like it's kind of shadow and shallow in center field. It's, am I right? It looks it looks like a, like a kind of flat, short, chubby stadium. <laughs> Does that make sense at all? Yeah, 345 down the line. That's fairly deep. And then in center field, it's not even 400. So, yeah, sometimes when you pinch that center field in, like the park that Archmage showed us, the Griffith in Washington, right? The, the line goes way out in left field. 
So it's deep down the line, but then a little shallower in center. All right, Dad Bod, very nice. Thank you once again. He has a few more in his vault. He said I, I have full access to his vault if I ever want to show any of his stadiums. But a lot of them are like the same park with different names. At least it looks so in the thumbnails. Maybe it's just a goof in the vault, but I don't know. So, Dad Bod, when you have anything new, send them my way. We'll definitely get them right here on Studio 44. Pfizer is back in Studio 44 with NNL Ballpark 1. It's in Kissimmee, Florida, altitude of 26 feet, built in 1922. He says this is a Negro League park for a fictional league in a fictional universe. Said it's uh, very poor funded. He's got, he mentioned the chain link stadiums out here, or the chain link fence out here in right and left center field. Different textures on the walls. Excellent. It does give it a worn down look. Things kind of just thrown together with whatever materials they can get at the time. Bleachers all the way around. Fancy little entrance right here. I like it. Using the new roof, right? The Not that. That's the palm tree. That thing. What is that called anyway? Oh, the wood thatch bleachers. Okay. Yeah, definitely has a Florida vibe with the palm trees. It's a nice sunny day. I like the outside of the stadium, too. Just the sea out here. Little parking lot. Very cool. You got a row of concessions outside the ballpark. Now, it seems like, yeah, yeah, that, that's a smart way to do it for a smaller stadium like this. You'd have to be able to go in and out. To get the, that's fun. That's creative. And you got some water over here with a bunch of canoes. Yes, that's a that's a flashy fucking canoe right there, is it not? Beautiful. Oh, there's dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, that's right. He did mention the dino. I thought he was kidding. <laughs> He's like, I think you're gonna love the dinosaur sanctuary out there in left center field. I found it. These are fun. I feel I felt so bad that day the guy told me he had a hidden doll someplace and I I meant to go look for it. And he told me that this was out here. Look, there's a whole big stream or river back here. This tiny little fence is keeping them all in. <laughs> These pterodactyls, the fence ain't going to keep a pterodactyl in unless it's got a roof on it, huh? Very nice indeed. Show 24 sign way the hell back there. I like it, Pfizer. Pfizer's got some fun stuff. Definitely have more coming from him soon as well. I think I have one or two more that he put in recently that'll make it in either this or the next two videos. Beautiful. Very quirky dimensions. <laughs> I'd say that's an understatement. But that plaza area is great. Very fun. All right, thanks, Pfizer. I like the outfield, the scoreboard, too, the old-school style with the advertisements right underneath it. Little village is really nice. Very cool indeed. This is great. All right, thank you, Pfizer. I believe this creator is new to Studio 44. He's giving us State Farm Field in Phoenix, Arizona. Max Altitude, built in 2024. And I believe his name is Ty Atis. Ty Atis 7. Ty Atis 7. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Wow, a couple in a row using the Tiger's Batter's Eye. I like this one. I, I think it's better as a an, uh, used as an anomaly. But, yeah, I like it. It's got the different layers for balls to disappear into, and it's got the camera wells and the little spots where people can be poking out looking. Very nice indeed. Oh, he's got a cool pool out here coming from the water slides. Excellent. Whole little uh, deck out here, or boardwalk, with picnic tables and umbrellas, and oh, there's a lazy river back here too. People are right in that lazy river. Very nice. Putting balls up on this... Deck could be fun, huh? Buddy M's right there. Hit it here, cafe. I like this stadium a lot. 
pretty standard right here with the multiple decks, but then you got this corner deck sticking out. I like it. Then you have the team store over here in the corner. Oh, look at this fancy roof. Okay. I'm guessing this closes. It is in Phoenix, Arizona. Closest I've ever been to Phoenix is Vegas. Went to Vegas back in 2008. I like this section out here, too, with the pool and the fountain in the middle. The steakhouse. All right. Oh, I got some floating people out here. I guess some people just forgot to delete or move. I've definitely done that before. That roof is very is very clever. I like it. I don't I don't know how to describe it, but it looks like one of those like something that you like twist together and then it closes. It's got the do building out there behind center field. Very nice. Looks very well in the Looks very nice in the dark with the lights on. Oh, do these roofs, are, do these panels are, do they always have some kind of light on them? I never paid much attention. I like it a lot. This right center field especially is really fun. So you can aim for the second deck. You can aim for the targets out here. A lot of fun. Oh, that made it to the Lazy River. Holy cow. Phil Rizzuto is the first announcer I remember. So I get a lot of holy cows when I do. Like Mark and I, we always play our games, our Ricky Davis League games. It's always Miller Lite player of the game. All right. Ty Atis, or Ty Atis 7. Appreciate you joining Studio 44. Appreciate you submitting the stadium. Happy to show it for you. Send more my way, please. Once again, we have another new creator to Studio 44. This is Big Impact. He's sending me Northwood Park at Shopping Plaza. This is version 2. I'm guessing I went with 2 just because I figured he'd want the latest version out there. It's in Northwood, Maryland, altitude of 100 feet. And it was built in the year 2024. And... Already, I can tell this concourse is amazing. Some very steep steps out here to get up. I dig it. The steps are such hard work. I just put new steps in the version of the ballpark at the new Moonshot Casino, and it looks terrible. But Oh, I guess it looks terrible, but more steps out here. Very nice. Buddy M's being advertised. Little Hall of Fame section, a bunch of people watching from right center field along that concourse. More concessions hiding out behind. Then you got buildings underneath with people on the balconies. You got Old Army over there. Prati, Gucci, Gucho, I'm sorry. Oh, are these, <laughs> I get it. They're like Club SDS, okay. They're, they're like parodies of those companies, I gotcha. Okay, I like this, stacking these buildings together. Then you got the scoreboard kind of creating a window out to the city. I've seen this one a lot today, the Brew Hoo Hoo. Awesome. He said this is, this is really his first attempt, and it looks really good. Oh, I like this grass section under the scoreboard. That's fun. Up top. That's becoming more of a thing, those grass areas on top of buildings or decks or roofs or whatever. Very nice choice of buildings for a little city in the background. Oh, he's faced off the whole stadium with this one building. Okay. Then you got Northwood Park entrance right now. Parking lot. Excellent. Turn on some lights, see how she looks in the dark. These buildings look good. I like using these taller ones. Lit up, this one is probably the best one, if you ask me. That looks really good. A 
Very nice indeed. Welcome to Studio 44, Big Impact. Yeah, if this is your first, you're going to have some great stadiums. This one's great on its own. 4, 5, 8, 33, 42, and 44. Retired numbers out there. Is this like a walkway or is this just like a... Yeah, yeah it could be a walkway. People could probably walk around up meow. Very fun. Another grass area out here with some benches. Oh, look, it's like a bullpen. Is it the bullpen or is it just a place where kids can play catch and stuff? I only see one. I don't see a second one, so maybe it's that. Oh, I like this too. What are these? What are these rings? How did you? Oh, okay. All right. I like that a lot. Little mini creative fountain with the guy in the middle. That's fun. It's amazing what you'll miss. <laughs> I mean, it's right out there in the in the open, and I didn't see it. There's some more picnic tables out here on this uh, marble concourse. People are all hanging out. Very nice indeed. Big impact. I love it. Thanks, man. Second to last stadium of the video comes to us from a familiar face. Texas Ag's Big Bend Park in Big Bend, Texas, altitude of 827 feet, built in 1993. So is this a real stadium then? See, it's 314 down the line, so deep as Yankee Stadium right field. I like this little bleacher section that's labeled Big Bend Park and anomalies in there. I mean, I guess anomalies are here to stay, at least in offline versions, which works for us. It works for, you know, for the Ricky Davis League because we don't have to, you know, play online. But, oh, I like the Big Bend, uh, Big Bend sign in center field also. 414, 413 in center field. That's a poke. 300 right down the left field line. I like that. Short fences all the way around. What What is this fence you're using here? I thought so. Yep, it's the back of classic seating. Very nice. Bunch of trees outlining the outfield. A great little parking area and a miniature golf course. Yeah, you'll have to let me know, uh, Texas Ags, if this is a real park. Got this little lake, pond. Out here in, down the first baseline with the deck. Oh, these guys are up on the hill. Can you see the game from the hill? What's up, fellas? Having a bro party up here. What's up, bro? Oh, there's a couple girls. <laughs> I found myself doing this with Zelda Breath of the Wild a lot. <laughs> Do we have any Rocky Four fans? I would get, I would climb up the top of these mountains and then I'd use the uh, camera and go, Drago! Drago! <laughs> oh boy, I, I I abuse myself. What can I say? <laughs> oh, this is a fun stadium, though. Oh, using the anomalies to face it off on the outside. I like it. That is an anomaly, right? Yep. Okay. Someone, someone like apologized in the comments to me. Um, I don't know if they're apologizing because they feel bad that you know I'm mad that they're gone or or were gone. Or, like, I'm mad that people are still using them. I don't, I don't, because if that's the case, I don't care if people still use them. Like I said, if you, if you were just building these stadiums to showcase them, then, I mean, anomalies are fine because they still show up in the creator mode. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he said, I'm sorry. I don't remember who it was or why they said it, but don't bother me. I'll absolutely show them uh, anomalies still. And for now, I guess we don't have to fix the Ricky Davis League ones that I've been asking people about. So we'll see. I mean, it, if 
they had to have seen the stink. They had to have seen the big stink that we put up. So if that's the case, they had to have seen the stink that we've put about the bullpens and we've put up about the fences and we've put up about the lights and all the other crap that we want in Stadium Creator. So we might be making a dent here, guys. Let's keep at it until some of these big changes are there that we want. The first one, I think, is bullpens. They've got to go. And then after that, the fence, windows, and being able to put the distances on the home run fences, that's up there. And then you got smaller seating. Because there's ways to hide the seating, right? It stinks that you have to do it that way, but you can do it. You can't. The only way to add distances to the fences is like this, with that crappy number thing. But, yeah, this, this stadium has so much detail, Texas Ags. Very, very nice. Did I turn the lights on yet? Let's do that. Very well lit for using minor league lights. But everything's so condensed, you can get everything. I'm surprised you can get this one here. That's the other thing that's weird about the lighting. Sometimes it depends on the light. Or did they fix it? Maybe they fixed it. This is another thing I noticed, though. Ugh. Have you noticed that it won't red out? Look, it's not red. But if you go to hit it, it's unable to put it. So in order to find the right spot for it, you have to adjust, 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 adjust. You know? And that's really annoying. So SDS, if you're watching, you got to fix that, too. Because holy hell, that's annoying. You want to see before you let go of the button where it can't go. Otherwise, you just got to keep testing. And that's super annoying. I like the scoreboard with the hit it here. I mean, Texas Eggs is fantastic. What do, I mean, what do we expect? So much detail, so much work. Excellent. Again, Texas Eggs, let us know if this is a real park or if it's just one that you kind of created for a certain area in Texas. Appreciate it, boss. I'm sure we'll see more from you soon. Okay, there's a very good chance that you saw this next stadium being built or even helped build it yourself. Twitch Field in the city of Interwebs, www, with an altitude of 524 feet and built in 2024, was crafted by our good buddy Sewell21 and anybody else who contributed while he live streamed it on Twitch. The first thing that comes to your eye is the Western Metal Supply Company out in right field with a bunch of people hanging out on the balconies that are out there. Saw Giancarlo Stanton hit one into the real one last night. Always tons of fun using that building. He's got bricks all over the place using the anomalies. Very nice. Fun little concourse out here in the corner, which are always a pain in the butt to work with. But Sewell nailed it here. So you'll have to give me a list of some people who contributed. I, I was in and out when I could. I didn't get to see as much as I would have liked to. But, man, look at all these people hanging out up here. Great work on the center field concourse. Again, beautiful making it open underneath. I always want to close things off, and that's a mistake. I need to work on that more. And he got creative with this little pillar using the smokestack of this one building. Excellent. Very, very Excellent. Then, of course, you got the little bullpen section or where the grounds crew keeps all their stuff. I did take a quick peek at it um, when he first submitted the field. But, yeah, very nice. Yeah, I would very much like a list of people who uh, contributed to it. At the time I was watching, I was going to pick up my dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings and dessert at... Cold Stone Creamery, so I, I didn't get a great peek at it. I was just listening for the commentary more than anything because I was driving. But I was going to put on some episodes of Respect the Pick in the car to try to find some highlights to put together a highlight reel. But I saw that he was streaming and figured, ah, let's do that. I've heard myself talk enough. Look how deep it is in right center field. Holy crap, this little niche out here. How deep is that? 381 and then 401 right here ouch 
Whew, man. But I love this concourse, the double layered concourse. That's super, super fun. Bleachers surrounding. Did I turn the lights on yet? It's got the old school dirt pattern, the old school grass look. I'm not a fan of this grass, I got to say. Which one is it? The rye. Yeah, that swampy, darker green. But it definitely gives it an older look, I like, so I like that. Yeah, I like pretty much, I can live with all of them except this one, really. And I thought I heard him say he's he doesn't use this one or much, or he's not a fan of it much. But it, it does give you an old school vibe if that's what you guys were going for on the stadium. So very nice. Yeah, you got the old school roof and the old school stand. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be an old school stadium. And yeah, a, a lot of brick often also gives you an old school vibe. So I like this area out here too with a big escalator reaching up to this level. Very nice. All right. Could not be a better way to close out a video. Thank you, Sewell21, and to whoever else was watching his live stream and helped put that stadium together. Very, very nice indeed. If you have a stadium you want shown here on Studio 44, please be patient. By the time you get any requests in after this video, I'm still editing the next two I'm working on now. So that's just kind of the pacing right now, especially now that I'm back at work. So if you do want to submit a stadium, the Google form is linked right here on this video in the description. It's also linked in my YouTube channel, and it's also linked on my Facebook page. So feel free to check those out, submit a stadium, and I'll do my best to get them to you as quickly as possible. I don't know what's going on with the anomalies, so I don't know if I need you to fix your stadium or not. I've only heard feedback from a few people about fixing some of their stadiums, so... Um, let me know if that's something you were able to do, fix your anomalies. Like I said a million times before, I get it if you can't do it. But if you can, let me know. If you can't, let me know. That way I can either find a new stadium, fix it myself, or just pick one out. So that's all I have. Thank you so much. Be on the lookout for another video very soon. The best way to do that is to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notifications when new videos come out as of recording this video i'm four away four away from my first goal so please i'd love to hit that 500 mark after this video releases thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon